What's going on guys, your boy Crispy Coffee Shop. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a little special because I got to play the new Call of Duty early. Huge thank you to Activision for flying me out to Los Angeles and allowing me to capture this gameplay early. Thank you guys so much. There were so many YouTubers at this event and I just felt very honored to be among them. So thank you once again Activision for flying me out and all that. Well, let's get into the gameplay. The first game mode we played was Classic Domination. I'm using the AK-47. Playing objective, of course. I rush the B flag and I shoot at a wall. That's a great strategy. I don't know why I do that. I'm also changing my button layout while capturing the flag. So this video I'm going to show you is just going to be the highlights. Other YouTubers are just going to post strictly gameplay the whole game. I just want to show you the highlights so you get everything you need to know in this one video. Before we even dive into it, I heard leaving a like on this video actually gives you good luck. Go ahead and try it out. So the first feature I want to show you is that you can open doors now. You can open and close doors by just going up to them and holding square. Very simple. You could also aim down sights and open the door and it kind of just opens it slightly like you could just peek into the room. Simple feature that they added that's going to make this Call of Duty a lot different from the rest of them. I like it. And then we move on to my first kill. I actually got a kill before I died in this Call of Duty which means it's going to be a good one. That has been my rule every year. If I get a kill before I die, it's going to be a good Call of Duty. So hopefully that lives up to it. And I'm just, I'm just picking people off here. And if you want to see how good I am here, check out this drop shot, missing every single bullet. And I end up getting the assist there. Epic. And then out of nowhere, recon drone available pops up on my screen. I don't know what I did to earn a recon drone, but I figured I'd call it in, show you guys this. It's basically a recon drone. If you guys played MW3, same exact thing. You go up to people and you tag them. Boom. That guy got tagged. But however, the most important question that I'm sure you all have is about to be answered. Are traffic cones movable by bullets in Modern Warfare? Yes, they are. You can shoot traffic cones and they move. It's amazing. And there's me shooting a traffic cone and dying. Here's a dude walking out of a door. Little does he know, I'm right there with, I don't know, this is an AUG. Yeah, that is an AUG. And AUG is now an SMG. I'm not sure, was it always an SMG? I, I think it was an assault rifle in the past. I don't, I don't know this kind of stuff. But I did get a score streak here, a personal radar, which I believe is just the UAV. I don't think I call it in, no. I really don't think I call it in. As you can see, there's no mini map in this Call of Duty. Very interesting, until you call in the UAV, there is no radar. But then I get the cluster strike, and I call that one in, and I'm confused because I just pull out a flashlight. I had no idea what to do with it. So I put it away, and then I call it in on that train cart right there, and then I shoot this guy who's actually a dead body, and then I walk up to him just to confirm that's not a guy, and here is the cluster strike. Pretty cool, not the best location I could have called it in on, Pretty cool. You're not gonna believe I'm playing in this clip, but I end up getting a double kill here. And as you can see, when you get damaged, your screen actually turns black and white, which is really interesting. And as you slowly regain your health, your screen slowly gains back the color. And my first game on Modern Warfare was a victory. And I was even more excited when I saw this right here. Final kill cams are back. I don't know how that sounded with me clapping in the audio, but I'm so excited. Crispy Kill Cam is like 110% confirmed for this new Call of Duty. If you're watching this and you don't know what Crispy Kill Cam is, that means you're probably not subscribed. So click the subscribe button and you'll find out soon enough and you won't be disappointed. Next game we played was a brand new mode, Cyber Attack. This is search and destroy, but you can revive your teammates when they go down. I love this so much. It brings back that one mode from COD Ghost. I'm sorry, I don't remember the name. It was called Search and something. I can't think of it off the top of my head. But this is basically that without the tags. You have to go up to their dead body and revive them. I love this. This is so cool. This is going to hopefully encourage players to be way more aggressive so there's a lot less camping involved. I should probably mention, out of all the people here, I got paired up with these Spanish YouTubers. And they are godlike at this game. But communicating with them was... A nightmare. I took Spanish in high school. I was trying my best to communicate with these guys. They were talking a mile a minute. And as you can see, this guy who dies, he's got the same clan tag as me. Funny story. I was actually supposed to be on the other team, but the Elgato they had set up with that setup was not even working. So thank God we caught that last minute. I kicked somebody off the Spanish team. I was like, get up. I need to record. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There was an open spot. I got in there and now I'm Espanol gang or die. Crispy como estas. What's going on? Okay, this is the funniest clip I got. I don't know why I was actually full on laughing out loud when this happened. I went to further test this theory of shooting the traffic cones, but this time I have a shotgun. So when you shoot the traffic cone with the shotgun, the traffic cone goes very far. Look at this one right here. This one actually... <laughs> 
why? Only I find this funny. I'm sorry. I don't know whose video you thought you were clicking on here. I bet you did not expect somebody to be shooting traffic cones and laughing at. In this clip, you could see my teammates rapidly drop, and then I am in a 1v3 situation. So I wanted to let you know what I was thinking as this happened. You know, I'm in a 1v3 situation. I got five Spanish YouTubers watching me right now, depending on me. They're talking to each other. I don't know what they're saying. Probably whatever like the video translates to in Spanish, they're probably saying that. But my first plan of action, since I was lacking confidence, was just to go and revive as many people as I can. Here's the reviving feature. The reviving feature is really simple. You go up to the plus sign and you hold square and it revives your teammates. Who would have thought it'd be that simple? Sometimes it's weird and it doesn't show their dead body, so you're just reviving a ghost. I guess they're trying to bring back COD ghosts. <laughs> Dude, that was hilarious. Uh, so I revived two people. One of them ends up dying. I shoot another traffic cone. He revives another teammate. We're at a 3v2. I die. I'm screaming. I don't know what revive me is in Spanish, but I'm screaming. I'm screaming, Cállate la boca at the top of my lungs. I don't even know what that means, but then, yeah, we lose the round. <laughs> okay. Next clip is me getting a cool sniper kill. This guy was being really annoying and shooting me only when I peeked up. And this is the first try. I don't know what you're looking at right now, but none of this happened. Your eyes are making this up. None of this happened. And uh, here, when I get the kill... Yeah, first attempt right there, and look who it was. Suda. Of course it was. And here's the conclusion to the cyber attack game. We actually won, but we didn't win in the best way possible. My teammate here sprays this guy right in the nards. Right in the N-A-R-D-S. Yeah, we end up taking the win, but was it worth it? Can we take a look at the slow-mo nard cam? Oh, yeah. Crispy nard cams. Coming soon, boys. Coming soon. Right in the nards. Brutal. Next, we play TDM on this map right here. Yo, shout out to Azers. He's got his own COD map. Nice, dude. I like that we have these spawn-in cutscenes before every match. I feel like they're going to get old pretty fast because they're all going to be the same. But for the first time, this was really cool to experience. I mean, you've never seen this in any COD before. It looks like a campaign mission before you get into any match. This game, I'm using the MP7, which is the worst gun that I used in the game so far. And let me show you an example of why I say that right about now. Empty a whole clip into this guy, and oh, he's still breathing. Okay, cool. 30 bullets. One guy. I hit most of them. He's still alive. Cool. Here's me getting a kill with it, though, and then I end up getting killed by my doppelganger. I looked over after that kill, and there was just some bald French guy sitting on my station. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know when he started playing, but I guess they didn't want that station to go to waste. Here's me trying to get across map and instantly getting shot down. I don't know why that was so funny to me. Here's my actual first throwing knife kill. It took me like 55 attempts to get this. It's not even that cool, but I ended up getting it on Suda. I thought that was pretty funny, too. And second Seconds later, I'm feeling really good, really accurate. I feel like I could hit any throwing knife I desire. So why not throw one right there and get this guy? And you know what? I'll go up to him and drop a little tea back. Just Call of Duty things, man. You gotta love it. Here is another throwing knife kill. I don't know why I was so accurate with the throwing knife in this game, but it was really funny the way this guy died. I don't know why the body ended up looking like this. And I ended up looking at it and it cost me my life because these people are trying really, really hard. Here's some of the lobby footage. There's a heartbeat sensor, snapshot grenade, a bunch of new grenades. Proximity mine's new. Everything else has pretty much been in COD before. Here I end up putting on the thermite to try it out. Earlier when I had a recon drone, that was a field upgrade. So basically you get them every once in a while for free. There is a recon drone, a trophy system, tack insert, ammo box, deployable cover, and stopping power rounds. And my favorite was probably the stopping power round, because every once in a while, it's just gonna give you bullets that do more damage, which definitely seems like the most overpowered one there. Next, I figured out that you could type in the lobby. I figured there's 10 people recording this game right now, so maybe somebody's gonna leave this in their video. <laughs> Next, we played the same exact map we just played on, but it's a night version, and you have night vision goggles. So this is the first, a night vision only mode. I go to throw a cross map throwing knife, and I completely forgot that I put the thermite on, so I just sit there and I cry. Something different about this mode, when you aim down sights with the gun I had at least it aimed it to the side instead of aiming down the actual sights it aimed with the laser you could also take off the night vision but the game is just extremely dark and there's really no point in doing that it's really just a disadvantage if you take it off and here's my first kill oh no I die okay completely forgot yeah it's like hardcore mode you get no HUD feedback for getting a kill which I had no idea I even got that kill, so maybe they should change that, I don't know. If you want my feedback, Call of Duty, I feel like we should have, like, you know, plus 100 come up when you get a kill. Then I figured it's hardcore mode, friendly fire might be on, so I just start shooting my teammates for a little while. <laughs> I still wasn't convinced friendly fire was off, so I end up throwing the thermite at this dude, and yeah, okay, friendly fire is completely off. It's, it's been confirmed. Then I found the soccer ball, which I shot, and it disappeared, but then I found two more balls, and I found out that the gun shooting the soccer ball 
actually deflates it. This is technically the first Easter egg in Modern Warfare. See, this is why they send me to this stuff, because I doubt any other creator is taking the time to shoot soccer balls. I'm showing you guys stuff that nobody else wants to do. I'm doing the dirty work, I'm shooting the soccer balls. For some reason, I was really mad at this soccer ball. I'm throwing thermites at it. I switched to my pistol. I'm really taking out all my aggression on this soccer ball for whatever reason. And while I'm doing this, I look up, and I'm soon as right there and hits me with a 360 throwing knife. I was not planned at all, and I was completely blown away that he actually did that. These next few clips are just from the 2v2 gunfight mode, which I'm sure everyone's already seen already, so that's why there's only like two clips in here. But this first clip is just to show you not to use the single fire option on the MP5. I hit that guy like four times and it still didn't kill him. That's ridiculous. Don't use a single fire, it's useless. This is the new mount feature. You can go up to any item and just mount your gun on it. You go up to it, you hit circle, and you mount your gun on it. It gives you steadier aim, and I, I guess it gives you a bit of a head glitch. I don't know if it's, that's gonna be overpowered or not. I don't know how exposed you are, but that actually just seems like every camper's wet dream right there. Just being in a corner and you can mount your gun and get no recoil. Oh, that's amazing. This clip, we had snipers, so I went up to this guy trying to no-scope him, and he switched to his pistol, freaking out, and my partner just takes him out right there. Actually, my boy Nico on my team here is another YouTuber. We just end up dominating these guys. I don't know if we won every game, but we were doing pretty well against these French guys. Next, we have the 20v20 mode. Our game was only 10v10 for some reason. I don't know if every game was 10v10, but our game was 10v10. This map was pretty cool. It gave me a real COD 4 vibes. And then I saw this purple thing, and I was like, whoa, that's a car. Let's see if it moves. I walk up behind it trying to push it. It doesn't move. I was just about to turn the PS4 off. I would never been more disappointed in my entire life. So earlier I showed you the ammo box field upgrade. The cool thing about that is it not only resupplies you, but you can go up to your teammate's ammo box, it resupplies you, and you could hold square and get a random weapon, which I did pretty much every time. And it actually gives you an extra throwing knife. So I had the perk that gives me two throwing knives on. It resupplied me to three. This is gonna be elite for kill cams. Here we have the best clip I hit all day. Well, not really. I hit a better clip, but I'll tell you about that at the end of the video. Look at this. Beautiful. You wouldn't think this is me. I'm in the triple kill. Who did I kill there? Let's zoom in on the kill. Of course, suit is there. I'm gonna assume M13 is Marley 13 and Noah's probably Noah J. Man, all three of y'all gotta retire after that one. So if you didn't catch on, we're playing headquarters. Once you capture the headquarters, you can't respawn. So I decided instead of defending the headquarters with my team that I would play with this crate and it actually moves. The crate actually moves this. I was mind blown at this. This is probably the coolest thing I've done so far. And you could shoot it and look how far it goes. Cool. And this guy, he's dead. I'm shooting a crate, man. How are you dying to me? How are you dying to me? The guy's shooting a crate. Here's me doing a backflip without even trying. I pretty much do that every day when I wake up. I get out of bed and I do a backflip. And here is quads. Quads are in the game. This is the only map we played that had quads, but it's super cool that the vehicles are in Call of Duty multiplayer. This is so much potential for content, although it is a complete disadvantage when you're on it. Okay, that's all I had to show you, but I want to let you know about something unfortunate before we end. Uh... This is the sad- I'm still sad about this. I've never been more sad about something in- in a long time. It sucks because nobody's gonna believe me. It, this is the thing. This is why I'm mad. Nobody's gonna believe me. I hit a cross map throwing knife. I hit a cross map throwing knife after trying literally the entire session. You could see me in these clips trying to hit one. But I finally hit one. It was so clean. I get up and I'm screaming. Everybody, there's like 200 creators. I'm sure half of them are looking at me getting up and screaming. So I sit down. I open the Elgato program to see if it was recording. And this is what I got. I don't even know what that is. What kind of... <laughs> I'm laughing at it now, but I'm actually depressed. Believe me or not, I am the first person in the entire world to hit a cross map throwing knife on Modern Warfare. And it's... There's no proof. There is literally no proof. Nobody's seen it. Okay, here is a picture. I took a picture of the other team. Somebody on this team got cross map. I'm hoping they watch the kill cam and I'm hoping it ends up on their channel. I don't know if it's a French, Spanish, Portuguese, Australian YouTuber. I don't know who I hit it on. These guys don't have names. If anyone uploads the video with that clip in it, send me a tweet, let me know, because I need to see that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again, Activision, for flying me out and letting me capture this early gameplay. Thank you so much. Like, that means so much to me. I started my channel on Call of Duty, and it's awesome to see that I'm able to do this kind of stuff. So thank you, Activision. If you made it to the end, just let's get an F in the chat. Just type F in the comments for my cross-map throwing knife that will never surface. And okay, thanks for watching. Check out my last video right here.